Hello guys, this is Engineer Vakas Ahmed and I welcome you all guys in this video. In today's video, I'm going to guide you guys how to make your CV which can help you to get shortlisted for some potential job opportunity. What happens whenever you apply for some good job or you are waiting for some job interview call, your CV does not help you to get shortlisted. There are a few reasons, but today with the help of this whiteboard, I'm going to explain that how you have to make your CV. Our CV contains different kind of sections which helps other people to evaluate our profile. Uh, in this regard, I will explain few sections over here that how you can make your CV in more convincing mode. First of all, I will explain here that what are the common mistakes we are going to make every time and we are expecting uh, false expectations like uh, in the evening we are going to apply and after one week we are going to get call from some job opportunity or some company. So here, this is the first portion, this portion of our CV. Here you have to put your CV photo so that you can show your professionalism. Try to make this photo in your suit like in tie and like two piece or three piece and here you have to give your contact details contact details now what happens in most of the cases whenever I uh, announce some job vacancies and I ask people to apply and I receive CVs people have given uh, over here a lot of information like blood group like uh, your district like your province and much more like street address, like passport number, you have to give only three kind of information. First, email address. Second, WhatsApp phone number. And the third thing, your LinkedIn URL. That is the most important three things you have to provide over here. Now, your CV is going to communicate with the person who is sitting there to evaluate thousands of CVs that guy doesn't have that much time that you are expecting you are actually waiting for some job you have plenty of time but that certain guy who's called interviewer or recruiter or manager doesn't have that much time he might be having like 10 seconds to evaluate each single CV so if your CV is going to communicate with that recruiter right after this portion that is win-win situation for all of you guys now how you can make convincing CV or interactive section so here from right after this section your CV should be speaking loudly about your skills not about your extra information like you belong to this city you belong to uh, that uh, tribe or you are having these uh, you know I'm I'm trying to say over here that extra information right after this paragraph is not required at all because I will share with you one theory over here the guy who is announcing or who is evaluating your CV is not there to look after about your CV only. There are plenty of job CVs on the table. So your CV will take only 10 seconds to travel from the table to the dustbin. So you have to communicate, you have to convince those guys to get shortlisted. So here your CV should be communicating why and how. Because everybody is looking forward problem solving guy. If you are stating over here that how you are going to solve their problems, then of course they are going to read your CV extra 10 seconds or 20 seconds or 15 seconds. Let's say I'll give you an example over here. Here the portion will be profile. The first portion is profile. In profile summary, you have to provide you know your uh, buzzwords, your the main highlighted words. Let's say I'll give you an example that you are designing engineer and company is looking for some uh, rivet skilled guy. So you have to mention over here, I am rivet skilled engineer. I have previously worked in this organization and I have uh, solved uh, these problems. Like in uh, one way or another way, you have to highlight your that certain skill so that in very start section of your CV that guy should be you know uh, in the mood that they have to communicate with you on call for some job interview so that is the first thing profile you have to provide your skills you have to provide this profile should be in the shape of a story 
like it's not like uh, you have to give in bullet format you have to provide like what are your objectives what are your interests and if the certain job let's say it can be an other job like planning engineer primary or p6 is the required skill so you have to provide here in the you know flowing story that you are primary or p6 skilled guy and you have been working in the field managing time cost budgets and all that and after that you have to provide the second thing core skills okay so in core skills the most 99 percent of recruiters are more interested because that is the section in which these people are going to have more attention if you are going to provide here that core skills if i require like a rivet oriented guy and i have given over here camera piece still so that is actually going to lose attention because my recruiter is not interested in this skill at all he is looking for a rivet guy so you have to be very careful while stating your all the skills so second point core skills you have to provide all the core skills over here and the third thing education because you know every job is carrying you know you require be civil engineer be mechanical engineer electrical engineer accountant so that's also very important thing just two liner it's not like you have to provide your matriculation your fsc your bsc you have to just provide your top education over here and with university name with years in which you have passed that degree or diploma okay the fourth thing job experience that is the most important thing and job experience okay now this job experience how you have to summarize this job experience uh, you know if i have like 10 years of experience for me it is very important to look after about this point that how many companies i have been working uh, in previous uh, past so i have to just write over here company name this is very important pay attention to this point company name second position here you have to provide year and here you can provide client like while working in that company because in engineering sector it is very important uh, wherever you are going to serve there are some like contractor consultant and client whenever you are uh, working in some company clients are very renowned either you are working in qatar saudi arabia dubai pakistan so you have to mention client over here as well then the fourth thing is job responsibilities if you have worked already in three to four companies uh, better to summarize your cv because it is also important to summarize your cv in one page or two pages not more than three pages because most of guys like going like four pages five pages that is exactly boring kind of thing so to cut down your cv to limit your cv up to one or two pages what i give so being a recruiter it is also very boring for me to read out like three pages so it's uh, like i will i will suggest you guys to summarize your cv up to like one if you have more than five or six years experience maximum you can go up to two pages so it's uh, the tip you can make your company description like this and at the end you can make your job responsibilities and in that job responsibility portion i will just write